Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Leg Drop the World. My name is Doc. This is my good buddy, Judgy McHotpants. Ooh, hot pants? Eh, I don't know. Uh, anyways, thanks for joining us. We're having a little issue with the with with the microphone. Well, he is. It doesn't work. I promise you. Why? I've fiddled with it, and it doesn't work. Right. Anyways, while 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 Judge figures that out, thank you guys for joining us. If you could take a minute and hit the like button on this video, hit the subscribe button on our channel, hit the notification button to let you know when we upload new videos, and leave us a comment, tell us your thoughts on wrestling. That would be amazing. Um, as well, you can check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where... Uh, we are quickly expanding our, our, our Twitter. Oh, we are. Our Twitter base, our Twitter yes, audience. We are. I find myself tweeting quite a bit lately. I do too. I can't I said stop. something really funny. Tweeting and retweeting. I, I thought it was pretty funny. Um, and so anyways, yes, you can always check us out there. But we are going to talk about wrestling now. Wrestling. We're going to talk about Raw. We're going to talk about SmackDown. We're going to talk about 205 Live and NXT. How broken this mic is. We're not going to talk about that, but maybe. No, we won't. Uh, anyways, you have you have your little notes ready I to do. go? I do. I'm just going right. to hold it like this, I think. Then, uh, then, then let's do this thing. You want me to get you? You could just put it up on that book. I like, do that. Yeah. You're right. Like, yeah. Grab the, uh, oh, the secrets of the samurai. I, uh, I, I had that for a game that I was working on. Ooh. So. A game. Okay. Uh, anyways, let's talk about Raw. All right, Raw. So. Judge. <laughs> Hit me. Okay. Um, we start off with Raw. Uh, basically, John Cena. What we got, like, yeah, but it was John Cena basically cutting a promo, right? Was he? Did he cut a promo before he wrestled? I don't know. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Oh, we got like the like what happened last week. Yeah, the yeah, stick, yeah. Like, Between Cena and Reigns. Yes. Um, then we get John Cena versus Jason Jordan. Yep, that's the that's. The starting match. Which is, I liked it. I liked this match a lot. It was a really good match. Jason Jordan with a Northern Lights suplex that looked amazing. Two of them. Two of them. He just yeah. rolled Ooh. through the first one and went to the second so one. So good. And it's funny because like, you see a, 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 a quick second of John Cena's face and he's just like. Yeah. Well, and then he like. We're going again? Okay. He, he hulks up. He like takes his straps down and. Rah! And dude, it was just like. He took those straps off, and it was like, abs. <laughs> that guy is cut up. <laughs> Straight ripped. Jason Jordan is strong. Oh, yeah. So uh, so strong. Anyways, I was I knew that he wasn't going to win, but... I think everybody knew that my, Jason Jordan wasn't going to win. My body was ready for a Jason Jordan win. Oh, me too. I was hoping. I was like, uh, please, just... Didn't happen, though. Vince... Please yeah. give me a win. You're, you're barking up the wrong tree with that. I know. Get that nonsense out of here. Uh, yeah. Um, so uh, John Cena wins, and then um, Roman Reigns comes out, and they start cutting another promo again. I know. It's shocking, right? What? <laughs> yeah. And I... You didn't like it because of uh, Roman's what he said well it's both of them it's i like both cena. of them well we've seen this from cena before though yeah 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 so yeah. it's like yes we've seen this the, before but and we didn't so we like the secret heel part of cena but it's just still yeah. too it, it's they get too hostile so i think part of the problem is they have hostile. a bit of the like ambulance problem that uh, they did with Braun Strowman where it was like they peaked too soon because last week's uh, you know promo that they cut on each other was really good and everybody was talking about yep. you know it sounded like a shoot because it was you know it, like it had real r real life stuff to it uh, 
the 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 promo last week was better than this week. Not yes. to say that this one was bad, except for Roman Reigns' comment about his zipper. That like a yeah. Wait, no, no. John Cena goes. <laughs> he goes. Well, you came out here with your zipper undone, and then he <laughs> yeah, I busted it. Yeah, no, he said. Yeah, he said I busted it, and then he just goes big, big dog. dog, and I'm like, oh, shut dude. your stupid face, Roman Reigns. Shut your mouth. And then John Cena proceeds to be like, well, I would say go look for your balls, but yeah, no, you was, don't have any. I was looking for your balls, but you don't have any. And then Roman Reigns is like, yeah, you would. Yeah, be you looking. would. It's like, oh, good comeback, Roman. What are we in sixth grade? Are we in sixth grade? Stop it. Get burned. Stop. Get burned. Ridiculous. It's so bad. That whole thing was just dumb. And I think Roman drops the B word three yeah, times. Yeah, 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 like yeah. Like three times, and then, like, Ro- and come then on, John dude. gets one. They're using up their... Uh, their cap. They're allowed. Yeah, cap. yeah, exactly. They're just... Come on. You it's know, so and we were talking dumb. about this. They have so many heels, mm-hmm. and... and I mean, not even just heels, but characters that can get themselves over without using profanity. Yes. Right? They 100% the, It's so crazy because nobody gets into this unless they throw around profanity. And it's like, come on. Like, it's the only if way I we watch, can build this is by, like, throwing profanity in here. Yeah, because if I watch Raw mm-hmm. or SmackDown, for, or any WWE product, yeah. for that matter, with my kids... Yeah. The people that I have to watch out the most for are the ones that are marketed the most to the kids. Yeah, and that's what my tweet was. It was, Roman, your your character is specifically marketed towards kids yeah. and, like, women, which, yeah. But stop saying the B word, dude. Yeah. Stop. Like, like, if you have not to who you are. resort to that to get over, come Dumb. on, bruh. It's so stupid. Yeah. So, anyways, we could go on and on about this, but yes. it, it did not really get me that excited for their match at No Mercy. Um. So then let's move into a really, really good match that was Heath Slater and oh, Rhino yeah, yeah. versus Sheamus and Cesaro. Yeah, I caught bits and pieces of this one. I did too. So, I I thought it was fine. Yeah. I like Heath Slater and Rhino, and I like that I do the too. crowd loves. Rhino? Yes. Like, I kind of... Rhino's in this weird position where it's like, I want to see him on a singles run, but it's almost nah, like he Slater makes him who he is, you no, know? No, it's weird. Possibly. I, I, I don't know. I, I doubt that we're ever going to get a, a Rhino singles run. No. I don't um, think so, but I just think it would be Well, really and cool. isn't he like a politician? Isn't he like... I believe he's like... A gov- mayor or mayor? governor or something? No. Maybe governor of a city or something I don't know. like that? But regardless, I don't think that's happening, even though he is pretty over with the with the crowd. Oh, yeah. And uh, all of his bits where he's, like, eating cheese and crackers yeah, is dude. hilarious. It's great. Um, then we get the Intercontinental Championship match between Jeff Hardy and The Miz. Yeah. Actually, sorry, um, Sheamus and Cesaro win. Yes, that's right. I think right. we all knew that. Yeah. Uh, but then we go to the championship match between Jeff Hardy and The Miz. Jeff has Matt on the sidelines. Whereas the Miz has the Miz Taraj, yep. and um, Curtis Axel and Bo Dallas. Yeah, I mean, it was a good match. I was actually su- I was really happy to see um, Jeff in a singles run. Yeah, and kind of hold his own by himself. I thought yeah. that was cool. No, I thought this was a really good match. Actually, I I actually really enjoyed this match. The the Miz Taraj and Matt the, Hardy got ejected because they yes. kind of scuffled. In the there was a scuffle outside. outside, and then the the ref ended up ejecting uh, all three of them. Yep. Um, but, yeah, it was great. It was great to see Jeff Hardy pull out all of his moves. I mm-hmm. mean, he did – he did everything. Yeah, he did whisper and um, win. Yeah, and and it was just uh, it was a really good in motion match. Without Matt. He kept. I mean, I don't know how many false finishes there were. I don't know how many, you know, pin attempts mm-hmm. there were, but there were a lot. Like it was a really fun match. Um, the Miz wins because Jeff goes for a swanton. Yeah, this was this, confusing. This was so weird because Jeff's setting up for the swanton, and the Miz is there, and like Marie. Maurice. Maurice comes out and like taps. Yeah, she like, like shakes his hand. Is, the Miz is like dead. Jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. It was like and jiggling the handle on the toilet when it's <laughs> running. Just wake up. Yeah. So like the Miz is like dead 
and Maurice just comes over and like jiggles his hand, and then he's just like, "I'm awake. I'm gonna roll." Yeah, it's just like come. So like, he come on. he rolls out come of the on. way. He 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 pulls the uh, the faster version of Tyler Breeze's yes <laughs> rolling yeah, out of the way, uh, and so. Uh, yeah, Hardy Jeff Hardy misses the Swanton, mm -hmm. and uh, Miz is actually able to counter because the uh, so Jeff Hardy goes for a move I can't remember what, uh, but uh, the Miz kind of counters it and turns it into the That's skull cool. crushing finale. It was really cool looking. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It wasn't the twist of fate. Or maybe it was. It might have been a twist of fate. It might have been that uh, Jeff Hardy was going for a twist of fate, but uh, Miz, Miz countered. No. He yeah countered it into a. Uh, it was a really good match. I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I liked it too. We need more stuff like that. Yeah, more interesting on, like side you know, note things across all brands. We just need good matches. Yeah, just book good matches and people that can put on good matches. Yep. We we've seen that any match that the Miz is in, he's. He basically elevate uh, not that Jeff Hardy needs to be elevated, but he yeah, kind of no. helps carry Jeff a little bit, and it's nice. It's yeah. nice to see that. Yeah, I mean, not even necessarily even carrying him, just being able to highlight someone. Uh, you know, like I mean, you know, there are guys like AJ Styles, right? Even when AJ Styles wins, he makes the other guy look so, like a million bucks. Yeah, which we'll get into with. Uh, SmackDown Live, but I'm actually kind of excited for what's happening in SmackDown Live with that. Oh, good. Um, next, we get a 205 Live match. It's a six-man tag match. Yeah, I missed this match. Yeah, I didn't. I only watched the highlights of it. Here we got Enzo, Cedric, and Grand Metalik versus Noam Dar, um, Tony Nese. And this says Cedric Alexander. I wrote down Cedric Alexander twice, and I don't know why. Anyways, it's whatever. But um, Enzo Amore, Cedric Alexander, and Grand Metal League win. Yeah. It was a fine. It was it was okay. It was just another 205 Live match. I'm just not a fan of Enzo. Enzo. I just don't. I, Boo that it. man. It's so bad. Oh, it was Drew Gulak. It was Drew Gulak. Oh, yeah. Not Cedric. Um. Was it as good as the 205 Live match, the fi Fatal Five Way? No, it was worse. Okay. So basically, what happened was Enzo Amore tagged himself in, and then he poked. Oh. He poked uh, that's right. somebody in the eye, and then he did it. I uh, saw. I caught Jordan, like, a your, little bit of that. Jordanzo. Yeah. It's just. The guy can't win clean. Like, he no. just can't win. That's what he does. He's That's a it. We said it in the last episode. We said yeah. it last week. His Enzo's finisher. finisher is cheating. He poked a dude in the eye. Yeah. Meh. Whatever. Yeah, it was, it was lackluster, if anything. Uh, then we get Finn Balor coming out to address uh, that Ugh. he was about ready to be... In a tag match or in a match for the IC, yeah. But Bray Wyatt, of course, and then Bray Wyatt shows up on the Titan Tron and talks about how his father. I'm a god. In, well, I was gonna say his dad took him hunting. Oh, I thought I thought it was sister, it was sister Abigail. She took me. I thought he said she. Oh. That just goes to show you how much attention I was yeah. paying. A god. Uh, God. I didn't like this. So he just essentially wants to They're wrestle. They're having another rematch again at No Mercy. Yeah, but this time Finn's not allowed to be the demon. What? Right? I don't know. Yeah, that's I what I got out of it. butts in seats. He, because he's talking about a mere mortal or something like that. I'm assuming that's what he meant. Oh. Next, so we get like a little backstage segment where uh, Nia Jax is upset at Kurt Angle because Sasha Banks is getting a match before she is. Mm. And Kurt Angle's like, that's the rematch clause. Like, what do you want? That, that's just what happens. Yeah. Um, so then he was like, well, I'll tell you what. Well, Emma shows up and Emma is being Emma and just butting in when she doesn't need to butt in yeah. with her Australian accent. 
and her phone in her hand. Oh yeah, because she's talking about Twitter and how she's trending on Twitter. And uh, so is she though? No. Is she? No. Emma, but are you? They really? set up a they set up a match that is Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss versus Nia Jax and Emma. If Nia Jax and Emma win, then they are included into the match at No Mercy. Yeah. And it will be a fatal four way. And then we have this match, which is Nia Jax and Emma versus Sasha Banks and Alessa Bliss. Nia Jax and Emma win because Nia Jax does the heavy lifting and Emma gets the one, two, three. Yeah, Nia hit the the finishing move, but uh, Emma tagged like herself. tagged herself in. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where all this is going. All I can say is that those girls need Oscar. The Raw better be ready for some Oscar action. Yeah, they need something because it's. I, don't, fest. I didn't think Sasha Banks was that good in this match. They did have a funny part where uh, Nia Jax and Alexa Bliss. Yeah. Got tagged in and they were in the same ring together and then like Alexa Bish, Alexa Bliss is pushing her. Yeah. And then Nia screams and then Alexa Bliss goes, ah! Like yeah. she's scared and then. Yeah. It was kind of. A, oh, and she hit her with a lariat. Yeah. Or a clothesline and about knocked her out. Yes. It's hilarious. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's. Uh, I like Sasha Banks. I, I do. And I. I mean, if they're not going to commit to her being the champ. I honestly don't know what you, where the division goes. I don't know what they're doing. I honestly don't. Poor horsewoman. She can't be the champ when she's going over to SmackDown. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. Like, are they going to bring Asuka up to Raw and then have, like, the – because the rumor is the four horsewomen, you know, angle with Shayna Baszler and, and uh, Ronda Rousey and um, uh, Marina Shafir and Jessamine Duke – will yeah because it was the may young classic anyways yes like that, are that, they that's on wwe website where you can see that the yeah four horsewomen confront the four horse i feel like wherever the four horsewomen if they do that wherever that happens oscar needs to be away away from that so away from that action we will see next we have dean ambrose and seth rollins versus luke gallo and carl anderson the club, Dude. or if you would like to yeah. refer to them as the, the when when somebody needs to lose club, when you need <sighs> someone to take a pin club, um, basically the we Seth can't Rollins. win a match club. Yeah, Seth Rollins and Dean win, but uh, I only caught highlights of this. It yeah, was, it was good. Kind of bored. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, I. I think part of the problem is that I'm a huge mark for the club, so I'm going to like whatever they do. Yeah. Oh, of course. I mean, they're always great, but yeah. I'm just kind of tired of Dean Ambrose. The good Ambrose. brothers. I'm tired of Dean Ambrose. I'm just going to be the guy who comes out and says it. I don't like Dean Ambrose. I like him when he's on. And, uh, I mean, I kind of like where they're going with this, but, I, I can mean. We, can we put Dean Ambrose uh, Roman Reigns and Enzo Amore into a rocket ship and then send that rocket ship somewhere, to someplace else. Maybe. Okay. I mean, technology is advancing. Thank you. For us to be able to have those capabilities. Thank you. That's but all I probably want. Probably not. Simple request. That's it. Probably not. Uh, yeah, I think the big problem with, with Seth and Dean at this point is that the rest of the division is just... I mean, you've got the club who you can't take seriously anymore. Nope. You've got Heath Slater and Rhino who you can't take seriously anymore. Nope. You've got the Hardys who aren't wrestling together anymore because Jeff apparently is going on a singles run for the IC title. And Matt's just there for a You've got five. the Revival who are gone out Hurt. with injury. And then you've got Sheamus and Cesaro. So... All you can really do with Seth and Dean right now is rematches on rematches on rematches yeah, keep feeding with them. Sheamus and Cesaro. Yep. And the club. Just keep feeding the club to them. Yeah, like, I don't know what else. There. I don't, the, the, the Seth and Dean thing has reached its peak, has reached its ceiling. Yeah, there's nowhere else for it to go. Yeah. It is done. So, 
I think that's the biggest problem. They need another tag team. They need to call up Sanity or uh, Authors of Pain or something just to give them something to do. Uh, uh, yeah. 100% agree. Uh, then we get to the main event, which is Braun Strowman versus The Big Show in a in steel cage a match. a steel cage match for the ages. It was amazing. Great match. So I, good. Talking, speaking as someone who's not a huge uh, Big Show fan. He even said, if I knew the editor of this, go back when he said, stop cheering for the Big Show. He's not I that did. good. I did. I, 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 uh, it was a great match. Here's the thing. I can put my personal feelings aside and recognize when someone has a great match. He has a great match. Yeah. This was a, a phenomenal match. Yeah. He, Braun Strowman hits him with a running power slam, and it's just like, one, Braun Strowman just picked up the big show. There were, yeah. And threw him and himself into the ground. Yeah. Yeah, there was a great, uh, so he did the Macho Man elbow spot. Mm -hmm. uh, the big show did, jumping off the top rope. Um, there was the superplex spot. Mm -hmm. um, there was that, the uh, the running power slam to finish. There were some really good, I mean, there's just some really good action in between. And then after everything is said and done, uh, because Braun Strowman hits him with the uh, the running power slam and you don't for the wake one, up two, three. Um he cuts a promo, sort of. It's just him yelling, yeah. essentially, at Bro Brock Lesnar. Uh, and then to send a message, he picks up the Big Show again yeah. and throws him twice. through the cage. Yeah, Literally through it the cage. It was really cool. Yeah. And uh, Big Show's dead. So yeah. Rip. I, do we that? think that this is the Big Show's last match? That's the way everybody's talking. I mean, I don't know really where he goes from here. So they didn't really do a good send off for him. I mean, if if that's his last match, him. that's a great last match. It's a great last match, but remember when anybody else has had a send off? Well, yeah, it's I know been what you're like saying. The, the, I mean, everyone comes out and cheers for him. Yeah, they could and, still do that. Yeah, they could still just have him come out and say announce his retirement. Thank you and no, that's yeah. true. That is true. We could see that have a celebration. Week. Celebration of the big show. Celebrate, celebrate, dance to the music. All right, that's raw. Yeah. What are you going to give it? I will give it an eight. Wow, I'm going to give it a seven. I really liked it. Yeah. The only things that I didn't really like were the 205 Live match and yeah. the women's match. I mean, I liked all of the matches that I saw. Yeah. I even liked. I even liked the women's match. I know you didn't like it. But I thought it was a great show. I would love it if Raw was more like this. If we could get every this week. type of Raw every week. Just great matches. The only thing is that the yeah, the tag team division is sparse. Let's put it that way. Is non existent. Okay, SmackDown Live. Let's do it. We're uh, twenty five minutes. We're running We're doing great. We're doing great. Let's do this. All right. SmackDown Live. We start off with Carmella and James Ellsworth in the ring. Yep. And as James Ellsworth is saying, the trash talking, walking. There you go. Kevin Owens' music hits. Leave. Leave. No, he. No, he says, "I'm the." I'm the ref. The special ref. So he like comes out and he's like, "Ref, give me the, give me the shirt." No, no, give me. Give me the shirt. Give me the shirt. Shirt. Give me your shirt. That was good. Uh, and then Shane McMahon's music hits. Here comes the money. Yeah. And uh, then they just start talking. You know, I gotta say, if you're if you're if you ain't talking cheddar, if you ain't talking money, then you're talking don't matter. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. I think I, I understood where you're going with that. Yeah. Um. But, Shane McMahon got a little flustered. Yeah. He got a little flustered. And then Kevin Owens just kind of like, just goes. He went a little. He went ham. from like I swear ten to like fifteen. Yeah, he. So I swear that before they had this, they they had this episode. Kevin Owens had to take Shane McMahon and his family 
you know, out to like Chuck E. Cheese or yeah. something. Oh yeah, TGI and be like, Fridays. listen, guys, I love your dad. Yeah, right. This is <laughs> Shane McMahon is a hero of mine. Yeah. Uh, look at this T-shirt that I had when <laughs> yeah. during the Attitude Era. Yeah. Um, because essentially, uh, Kevin Owens looks Shane McMahon in the eyes and says, it, your whole family would be better off if you had died, essentially, it, if, if you were you dead. Did, yeah, if you died, which was, he was referring to the helicopter the, crash that happened, like, what, three weeks yeah, ago if or you, something? Yeah, if you didn't make it out of the helicopter crash, your f- whole family would be your father, Vince, your wife... Your children. Now, the problem is that Kevin Owens before this had mentioned his children. Yeah. And Shane said, don't talk about my children, don't bro. Don't talk about them. And uh-huh. so he, that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yep. And Shane went after him, fists a-blazing. He went. He did the punches of bunches. Boom. And so. Everybody, the, you know. They, the they, they Security. Tries to break them up, and then finally the Daniel Bryan. The only person Bryan. can break them up is Daniel Bryan, and he's not allowed to be touched, Shane! so he just kind of stays there and what yells at doing? Shane. What are you doing? So, yeah. They go uh, backstage a little bit later, and mm-hmm. uh, KO, Kevin Owens essentially says, I'm pressing criminal charges against I'm Shane. I'm suing the entire McMahon family. Yeah. Um, Everybody. Yeah. So, anyways. But... Uh, before that happens, um, we get the women's match. Yes. The match that we should have gotten from the beginning. Yes. Which is open the show. Carmella and Natty. 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 Who, by the way, has a really fun shirt on the Paws WWE. Out, claws out. Paws out, claws out. There you go. It's a great. That's a great shirt. Well, and then we also forgot to mention Corey Graves is now on SmackDown Live. Yeah, dude. Because JBL quit. So that's quit what really quitter. surprised me was quit the fact quitter. that JBL, like the news breaks that JBL has decided to step down or step back or whatever. Yeah. And it was like that. Like we found no two-week notice. Nope. No, like, send-off. It was just disappear. Bye. So, yeah, Corey Graves is on SmackDown. And Don't then, let the door hit you on the way out. And then Nigel McGuinness is taking over his duties in 205 Live, 205 Live in main event. Yep. Um, so then we get Natty versus Carmella. Looks like Carmella's holding her own in this match. And then yeah. James Ellsworth jumps up with and briefcase accidentally in hand. Dry- he, did, he did a great job with this. Like, oh, of making it look like an accident? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looked yeah. really good. At first, I was thinking, I was like, oh, he just accidentally dropped it. And then it continued to play out because yeah. the ref thought that Carmella was cashing in. Yeah, yeah. And so. And that's what James was thinking was that he was going to be at the ready yes. with the the Money in the Bank briefcase so that if it got to the point where she was going to pin her, cash it in first. Mm-hmm. And then, but uh, he fumbles the, the whole thing and the briefcase drops out into the ring and the ref is like what's going on and carmella he turns just, like, around picks up the, he's just like what is this yeah is this what, what do you want me to do it, huh uh, what is, is this, this is this a briefcase what is this golden briefcase is there money in White here briefcase oh um and so yeah idiot uh off of that distraction natty gets a roll-up pin which apparently is a, just a Best move ever. That's the strongest move in the history I of wrestling. I hate it. I hate the roll up. It's fruit roll up, buddy. Yeah. Blech. So and uh, then, yeah, yeah, and then Carmella just goes off on James. She Dude. calls him an animal. Rip. She says that she he's not even a human. Yeah. He she mentions that he has no chin. We are through. Oh yeah, it, they break up. It's broken up. Even yep. though they're not really together, which I don't know why everyone's like they broke up. They weren't even together. She's with Big Cass. Well, Rip. yeah, I know, but I mean, kayfabe, are they? Like, what sort of relationship do they have in kayfabe? Well, Booker T asked if they if he was getting some on the side. And Is he? Did what did he say? He said he said no. He said, Booker, no. Oh, it's not like that. I didn't hear That's that. That's my interview. girl. They're like, hey, girl, friends. Um, this was like a while ago. Yeah, yeah. No, I get it. I don't know. Then we get the magical redebut of Dolph Ziggler. 
Which is essentially him just pooping on everyone's uh, gimmicks, on everyone's character. He goes through. He he comes out as his own. So he comes out as Dolph Ziggler, and he's like, nah, 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 this ain't going to work. You guys will get yours when it comes. So then he just kind of like walks back, and then John Cena's music hits. Yeah. And the entire place goes crazy. Yeah. Like they bit hard on it. And, and then, out comes Dolph Ziggler with John Cena's hat, and, and he's a doing the whole thing. DZ on Buy it. this, yeah. Um, it's Tuesday SmackDown Live. Yeah. Uh, so he poops on that, and then he goes back and he goes, "Nah, that's not right." You guys like nostalgia. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And so he goes back uh, behind the Titan Tron, and then you hear uh, uh, Macho Man's music. Mm-hmm. And so he comes out with a robe and a woman who's supposed to be Miss Elizabeth. Yeah. Um, and, and he then, twirls her and then does his thing and then he he goes no you know what this isn't this isn't right yeah so then he just takes off the rub and hands it to her and goes you you're, take this back you're not needed yeah you're not needed anymore so he goes back again right and he comes out as uh, Natty no Naomi. Uh, not Naomi yeah uh, he didn't really do he didn't do a good uh, knee slide. No, I think he did that on purpose, he though. He got caught. It he was did. ridiculous. It, yeah. I mean, he tried to do some dances and stuff like that, yeah. and it was really bad. It was really funny. Um, I think he was bad on, on purpose. I, I think the m- messing up the knee slide just made it that much better. Yeah. Although I don't know if this thing has legs, no. him just, like, uh, invalidating everyone else's yeah. character and Basically. gimmicks and stuff like that. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Um, which is sad because I like Dolph. I do too. And then we got another. We got in, in more sad news. If if you like sad news, we've got more for you. Sami Zayn loses clean to Aiden English. I know. It happened, right? I've been clean. wearing this Sami Zayn hat for how many years now? And I think you need to take it off because that's, think that's why what it is. losing. Yeah. Because you keep buying them. I don't know, man. <laughs> and so, I mean... English wins via pinfall, and then he starts singing again because uh, Sammy interrupted his singing. So to finish, he goes to finish his song. Aiden does, and so the Sammy. Maestro may have Sammy's like, you know what? And so he chases after Aiden English. Aiden don't, English don't, gets don't, away. Don't don't don't. <laughs> and uh, yeah, there you go, Sammy Zayn. That was the best part. Was when he's chasing. And he's like, no, no, don't, 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 don't. Yeah, yeah. Um, then we get this backstage segment where uh, Daniel Bryant receives a phone call. Okay. Who could be on the other line? Oh, was this before or after the uh, Usos and New Day? Ah, this was after. Yeah, because there was a backstage segment with the before. Usos and the and yep. the New Day, who they come out to Daniel Bryan. They apparently they have, have booty. O, they have uh, new day underwear. New day underwear that they're all um, wearing, which is weird. Yeah, and uh, while they're talking to Dan and Brian, the Usos come out and then challenge them to a street fight. In it's Vegas. a Sin City street <sighs> fight. I wonder if it's gonna be black and white. Yeah, I don't know. Like Sin City. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah comic book thing. Um, that'd be great. But he, Daniel Bryan gets a phone call, and he's like, "Oh, uh huh, yes, sir." Hello? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, right Very now? good, sir. In the ring? Oh. Yes, sir. Yeah. I will. So Daniel Bryan goes to the ring and says, hey, listen, I need Shane McMahon to come out here. Shane comes no out. No music. No music, you're yeah. You're not allowed to have music anymore. Not when you're in the doghouse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Shane's in the doghouse, comes out with no music, and... Uh, uh, essentially, long story short, Daniel Bryan says, "Listen, you're suspended indefinitely. Your father, Oodles. your father told me to tell you yeah. this. The chairman, who is your dad, who Kevin Owens said you'd be better off if you were dead. Yeah, said that you were indefinitely yeah. suspended. So Daniel leaves, and everyone's chanting, "Thank you, Shane. Thank like you, he Shane. Is retiring." Yeah, or yeah, and we're never gonna see him again. Which we're gonna see him. 
And and Everyone Shane McMahon, down. who I want to like, but yeah. you just can't do it. Can't, man. Because he, this is in the midst of this beautiful thing mm -hmm. with the crowd chanting oh. <laughs> to him. His final words are... That's what? it. And you have... He has a mic. Get like, out of my face with that. He literally has a mic, and he goes... And it just, like, sets down the mic. Come on. Stop it, man. Say something to the crowd. Give these people what they asked for, what they bought. Um, I thought this was fine. Um, next we get Baron Corbin versus Ty Dillinger. This is kind of like a a makeup of what happened last week when yes. uh, Baron Corbin just kind of beat up. How much time do we have? 37? So... The only thing I'm going to say about this match is Ty Dillinger needs to stop doing the. Oh, the. It he looks like a kid who's like just learning how to do something. Yes. I mean, like a toddler mm -hmm. just learning how to walk or something, mm -hmm. just like that. Who has that like awkward stage? Yeah. It's so weird. It's really. I like you, Ty. I really, really do. Mm -hmm. But you need to stop doing that. Yeah. It looks really weird. Uh, AJ Styles is on commentary, yeah. and he basically calls Baron Corbin the king of cheap shots, mm -hmm. the cheap shot artist or something. Yeah. And uh, basically, he hits him, and he hits uh, Baron Corbin hits uh, Ty Dillinger in the throat. Yep. And then hits him with an end of days. Bada bing, bada boom, walks off. Backstage, uh, AJ Styles comes up to Ty Dillinger and says. I'm opening up the U.S. Challenge again, but to only you next week. Yeah. If there was any question as to whether or not AJ Styles is a heel or a face, he is a, a baby face. face. 100%. That is a baby face thing to do. Yes, it is. Um, I liked that part. Yeah. Um, I... It, it, there, he's not going to get the belt, but there's a part of me that's excited for this match because yeah. there's a possibility, and I feel like there could be a possibility, that Ty Dillinger gets a cheap win, gets to hold the U.S. belt for a, a week, and then he loses it again. I don't think he'll win, but I think he'll look really good losing. Because he will make, AJ he will, Styles will, even though yeah, he, he will keep that belt... He's going to make Ty look strong and yeah. good. Oh, yeah. Uh, after that, we get Randy Orton versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Number yes. one contenders match. The winner will face Jinder Mahal at Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Um, Shinsuke ends up winning. This was a really, really good match. I like this match. Yeah, I it was enjoyable. I'm not a big Randy Orton fan. I'm not. But... He uh, Shinsuke counters an RKO to an arm bar, which I thought was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Um, and then I thought it was okay. It, w it was just cool because we got. I to thought see it was as good. Corey Graves yells Kinshasa. Yeah, yeah, that's all. It's fun. I thought it was as good as the matches on Raw. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't a huge Rain fan of the stuff. Be done. He needs to just leave. Yeah, I don't know to, about that. To, well, he just needs to leave the U.S. He needs to leave that belt for a while. Oh, I see. That's what I meant. Sorry. Um, yeah, but yeah, I thought it was a good match. I really did. So, that's SmackDown. Bada bing, bada boom. Yep. Real sky in the room. <sighs> don't you dare. <laughs> what are you going to give SmackDown? Uh, I'll give it a six. I was going to give it a seven. I'm going seven across the board, I think. Hmm. Seven for seven. Seven and seven. It's almost perfect. Isn't that a drink? Yes, it is. It's seven, a seven, seven up and uh, Seagram seven. Mm. I've know. never had one. It's pretty good. It's fine. All right. What is Seagram seven? It's, I think it's rum. Is it? Okay. I think. Yes. I 205 Live. 205 Live. <laughs> uh, e, uh, uh, okay. Uh, I'm uh, just going to say it. Grand uh, Metalik. And Cedric Alexander are two of my favorite wrestlers on the planet right now. They need a tag belt in 205 Live, and it needs to be 
put on I, Grand Metal League and Cedric Alexander. I love both off. of those guys in as singles wrestlers, 100%. Yes. But when they do things together, it is special. It's so good. It's special. Like, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's not the match that happened. We had a match between TJ Perkins and Arya Davari. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. And this match was fine. It just showed how strong TJ Perkins is, even though he has a busted knee. Yeah. Um, Rich Swan came out to commentary on. and set a chair up on the commentary table. Yeah. And in some it of those shots, popcorn. it's hard to see the chair, and it just looks like he's taking a dump on the announce he's table. He's taking a dookie on the announce table. Yeah, dropping a deuce on the table while TJ Perkins and Ari Davari wrestle. <laughs> it's really weird looking. It's kind of awkward. Um, so TJ Perkins wins. Yep. And Ari Davari had like zero offense, so it was kind of boring. Hell, in that not sense. zero. He three. got it in a couple of a kicks. Scale of one to ten, he has a four, maybe. He had like a three. Three, four. Two, maybe. I might even go two. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, then we had Drew Gulak come out, and he started talking about how he's going to make a <laughs> he has, better 205 Live. He has side. a PowerPoint. Oh, that is 227 <laughs> slides. A PowerPoint presentation. Rule number one, no jumping off the top rope. Nope. Rule number two. No jumping off the middle rope. Nope. The second rope. The <laughs> it's second the rope. it's the second most flashy thing you can do. Yes. The se- why can't you jump off the first one? Because it's showboating. Yeah. Uh and so before he gets all the way through his two hundred and twenty seven uh, slides. Yeah, two hundred and seventy seven slides. Oh. Uh Akira Tazawa's music hits. What is he doing wrestling Drew uh, I mean, where is this going? Talk it apparently talk to uh uh Kurt Angle about this because he's the commissioner. According to Nigel, yeah. yeah well, Nigel doesn't know crap. Um, this match. That's a heel word, bro. That's what? Oh, yeah. Well, you're lucky I'm not Roman Reigns or else I would have said something else. Yeah. It was an okay match. That uh, that uh, senton off the top rope looks great. It's always great. It's a money and move. He, and the way that they filmed it, too, was really cool because they were showing like the upper view. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. really cool. It was really cool. Uh, so he wins. Yay. Uh, then we get the main event, which is Enzo Amore yep. versus Cedric Alexander yep. versus Grand Metalik yep. versus Brian Kendricks yep. and Tony Nese. Yep. All to determine who will be facing Neville at no mercy. Fatal five-way, baby. Fatal five Elimination. Fatal yep. five-way. Um, Enzo gets kicked out pretty – no, he rolls out. So he rolls out, and he's just sitting there chatting to the people in yeah. the crowd, which I hate. Yeah. I don't like that. And Cedric Alexander and Grand Metalik wipe out Tony Nese and the Brian Kendricks. And then it's Grand Metalik versus Cedric Alexander for like four minutes, and yeah. it's amazing, and it gets the crowd going. They are so good, man. They are so good. There's one spot, well, this was before the, the one-on-one action, where Cedric picks up, well, Grand Metal League runs at him, and he jumps, and Cedric, Cedric picks him Cedric launches up, him. And he just, it's perfect timing to yeah. put both feet on one on Tony, Tony Nese one on and Brian. one on Brian Kendricks. Yeah. It was perfect. It looked amazing. Yeah, yeah. He uh, hit that running Spanish fly onto oh, Grand Metal League. League. Ooh, he was I so mean, good. And then... There was one at one point. Um, Brian Kendrick and Tony Nice are outside the ring and they're roughing up Enzo. Yes. And out of nowhere, Grand Metalik does a tope. Oh. And just, hits. I mean, you don't even see him coming. I was just like, whoa. Yeah. It was hit great, dude. It got this. This match got me. I don't. I, I've. I don't think I've yelled so much. Yeah. Just in surprise. It almost felt like an indie match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It did. It was it was a great match. Then one of my favorites. Then like everyone kind of gets on the top rope and they do a sunset flip powerbomb powerbomb superplex. Superplex. Sounds crazy. Yeah. Look it up because it's nuts. Yeah, it's really cool. And so basically the first person, Alexander, pins Tony Knees. Yep. Off of a He's lumbar to, check. Yeah, he hits a lumbar check. Um, then Alexander pins Grand Metalik with what? A lumbar check. Cool. 
Then Alexander Dude, pins. Dude, he stacked Metalik up. Oh, yeah. There was no, it was not a nice, easy pin. It was, I mean, you're going to get pinned. Like, it was almost like Grand Metalik was actually kissing his own butt. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Um, then Alexander pins the Brian Kendricks. Yeah. And the Brian Kendricks sells the lumbar check like a champ. Yeah. Like a champ. Yeah, yeah. It was great, man. This was a great match. And but then, the problem was, while they're announcing that Cedric Alexander uh, eliminated Brian Kendrick, Enzo Amore slides in the ring, rolls up uh, Cedric rolls Alexander, grabbing some tights. One, two, three. So our number one contender... Enzo Amore. It's so stupid. Like I, we don't have a lot of time, but this was the best. I'm gonna say it. It was the best match of the week. Oh yeah. And it had the. I'm gonna go Roman Reigns here. Ending. Ooh, I'm gonna bleep that. Beep. Please. It's bad. Yeah. Yeah. It was bad. Ah. Uh, oh. I mean, oh, it's was, only I'm bad so if you don't like Enzo. I'm so mad. The problem is that he doesn't deserve people it. People freaking love Enzo. He doesn't Enzo. deserve it. I I understand, but people love him, so he's that's why he's where he is, and he's probably gonna win that belt. No, absolutely not. If he wins the belt, we Just riot. Saying. All right. Well, that's Be it. Be prepared. Prepare yourself. Can't. Can't stop. Won't stop. I'm going to give, and I didn't ask, I'm going to give 205 Live, just based on that uh, Fatal 5-Way match, I'm going to give it a 9. A 9? Yeah. Wow. I was going to give it a 9, too. Wow. I, I thought that the TJ Perkins match was great, and I thought the, the, uh, the Akira Tozawa one was good, too. Yeah. 205 Live, looking great. Oh, man. Cedric Alexander and Grand Metal League, can you just... Yeah, they need to push those and guys. Go join Defy so we can see you like yeah. once a month. Oh man, dude. <laughs> they are so good. Oh. All right, NXT. Let's do it. Um oh. We have Andrade Cien Almas versus Cesar Bononi. Andrade wins. Yeah, Cien wins, eh. and his uh, girlfriend or manager or valet or whatever Vega. is on commentary, and she's it's, yelling, yeah. "Finish him from the commentary booth!" Buh. Um. Then we get Lars Sullivan because he's beaten up three of his past tag team members. So yeah. ours was weird. We watched this together, and it was uh, it cut out of this match, but I'm pretty sure because it was a three on one match. Yeah. Uh, against Lars, and he, he was, they were just showing him throw people around the ring. Yeah. And uh, then it kind of. Apparently, everyone, I was looking online, apparently everybody's did this. Well, I think so, it was intentional. Why? I th- it just, for the, that was like their, that's how they got to the sanity thing. I don't think anybody cares about Lars Sullivan throwing true. three people around. So then and we get So a- they interrupted it with this, you know, the screen kind of goes staticky. And then we get what happened last week, last where week with Sanity. Sanity got beat up by Adam Cole yeah. and Team Ring of Honor. And then uh, Sanity is cutting a promo in like they're all laying down and they all don't know how to use a video camera because the lighting is awful and like someone's thumb is in the way of the camera lens like 90% of the time. Yeah. Um, boo. Yeah, it was all right. It was then, kind of a crazy like it had like that – Blair Witch. It just looked dumb. It looked awful. I to me, it, it was did. that bad. I I did not like it. Uh, then we get Sonya Deville versus Zeta. Uh, no, Skip. I'm not. Yep. D- boo. That entire match. Then we get Cassis Ono versus Hideo Itami in a no <sighs> DQ match. Man, he cannot not be bloody. No, Hideo Itami bleeds every single match. Yeah. Uh, Cassius Ono wins. It's a no DQ match. So, so Hideo he... Tommy tries to hit him in the you know where where the sun don't shine, and then Cassius says nope. Then he does that, 
and then hits him with a running forearm or whatever his yeah, knockout the, punches. Yeah, yeah. And boom. Then we get a uh, goodbye from Asuka. Asuka is leaving NXT and going to the main card. Yep. We don't know which brand, but uh, she relinquished her title. She still has her streak intact of 564 days or something like 500 that. 500 and – yeah, I can't remember. Uh, She's undefeated. Triple H comes out, takes the belt, but gives her a uh, thing of roses. A prize. Roses. And with this, I put you into Vince McMahon's hands. Good and luck. you can kind of see he kind of sheds a little bit of a tear because he's like – I just lost Asuka, yeah. and now Vince gets to do whatever he yep. wants. We'll see what happens. Um, it was actually kind of cool because Ember yeah. Moon comes out, and she tries to shake Asuka's hand, but she goes, nope. But then, and they, then hug. they hug. And then Asuka starts to cry. Yeah. You can see she starts to cry. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, it was really nice. What are you going to give it? Oh, I'm going to give it like a four. Yeah, me too. It's, man, cool. That's wrestling. It's unfortunate that uh, they had to ruin Asuka's. Uh, they ruined Ember Moon, so I'm getting on the I'm, I'm board with you here because it's like I don't want to see Ember Moon come out and like hug Asuka. Yeah. No, hit her with a eclipse. Yeah. Send her packing with a broken neck. Yeah. See, this is where I was like three or four months ago. I know. But now I've I've completely lost interest. So. Mm. Um. Yeah, it That's was it. it was kind of a poor episode of Raw, or I mean NXT, NXT. Uh, for having Asuka's story goodbye. building, I guess. But uh, yeah, anyways, well, that was wrestling. That's it. That's there WWE you know. wrestling for the week. Uh, if you guys could again take a minute, hit the like button, subscribe button, notification button, leave us a comment, give us your thoughts. Uh, check us out on social media, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Yeah. And outside of that, uh, unless you have anything else. I got nothing else. Are we going to go to Defy? Uh, when is that? The 24th or something? Yes. Yeah, 26th, 24th, 26th. Go see, uh, uh, what's his name? Jeff Cobb. Johnny, Johnny. Johnny Mundo. Johnny Mundo. John Hennigan. Maybe. We'll let you know. That's right. All right. Well, uh, thanks for joining us, guys. We will see you next week.